Well, boys are trailing behind girls when it comes to reading and writing, with Australian researchers finding gender differences start early and widen over time. NAPLAN test results reveal, reveal girls are more advanced at reading from the age of four, but boys aren't any better at maths until they turn eight. For more, let's bring in parenting expert Claire Orange. Good afternoon, Claire. Hi, Tracy. Why are girls outperforming boys in literacy? Well, I think there's lots of reasons. I think, you know, it's cooler for girls to read than it is for boys. And I think us girls are possibly more attracted to word-based um, activities than boys are. And I think still societally, you know, there's more of a thing around girls reading than there is boys reading. So I think there's a variety of factors in there, Tracy. Yeah, what age is this gap most noticeable and how great an impact does it have? Yeah, well, we're starting to notice it around those middle years of primary school and then certainly it's pretty wide by the time we get to to upper high school, especially reading, you know, in leisure time mm. and for pleasure for our boys. There's a, a very big divide in our girls and boys in those later years of primary school. And are parents doing enough, do you think, to connect boys to reading? Well, I think we can always do more to connect boys to reading and I think it starts really early in our homes, Tracy. And I think, you know, even our dads need to get more involved and show our boys what reading looks like and that it's pretty cool to read and, and do reading in all sorts of places because boys like to read on the move as well rather than sitting for hours. So not just bedtime stories. Yes. <laughs> what can parents do to help make reading more enjoyable for boys then? Right, well, you know, boys tend to be uh, more reading around one topic at a time. They won't pick up anything and read it. They tend to be attracted very much by what's on the cover. And it tends to be in the early years a lot about bottoms and jokes. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, we tend to then want to get them to read widely. Uh, it's all right, parents, if they read the same book over and mm -hmm. over, they're reading, that's good. Read in their area of interest. Don't get too stressed out about having to get to read widely. They'll have to do it one day. So really just get them to read what they're interested in and then find things that together you can read about and it doesn't have to be fiction. Non-fiction is good for our boys too so holiday pamphlets and brochures, read those in your homes, great for our boys. Yeah okay and just quickly as well just about ma mathematics, um, the, those NAPLAN tests also revealed that you know they're not much better in that area until the age of eight, why are we seeing a lag in that as well? Well I think we're seeing a lag across literacy and numeracy because really girls brains are more primed for or formal okay. learning by the time they're five, then our boys' brains who are really only getting there between six and a half and seven, on average, Tracy, not okay. every boy and not every girl. Yeah. And yet we've got an earlier push down of literacy and numeracy into our early years, and boys are having to sit still for longer. That doesn't work for their little brains. So by the time they get it ready for literacy and numeracy, it is at about that seven mm. or eight years of age. So it's important to give them exposure in, in everything possible, really. <laughs> and lots of movement while they're learning and Absolutely. As well. All right, Claire, thank you so much for your time. Thanks, we'll see Tracy. you soon.